and hello and <laughs> welcome back to Trails of uh, Trails in the Reverie. So, hey everyone, we're back! Yay! Uh, so basically, around the time the last stuff ended, I sort of ended with the intention to just get back into it. Uh, I saw it was like a book sort of thing, and I was like, um, not now. <laughs> and my intention was to get into it, and then I got sick. I got, like, not, like, super sick that it took me out of commission, but in the way that it made me have a really sore throat. If you remember when I had COVID, um, no. a few years ago now, uh, I had the situation where my throat got, like, in a state where it was constantly, constantly, constantly um, making it difficult for me to talk for extended periods of time without coughing and irritating it. So my thought was, this is a book thing. If I'm going to read it out loud, I should probably wait on that to heal. And then I kept waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. It hasn't gone away. It's feeling like the thing with COVID again. Because that took like three months to go away. <laughs> Maybe more than three months. It's been a while. So, uh, <clears throat> I've given up waiting. Basically, I'm going to treat this like the book. Uh, at the beginning of the game, with, uh, for the, like, threes and seven thing. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys read it, give you an opportunity to just pause and read, or give some time, uh, to jump. Probably just do it exactly like that, where I will basically just not talk, read it myself, and then assume my reading speed is close enough to what a normal person's reading speed would be, uh, to do that, and then just mark everything as my reaction per section. Or, I, I don't even know if these are going to have Slap chapters. of Reminiscence activated. Or anything like that. So. <coughs> let's just jump into it. It also helps that I reach, like, literally an ending. These are but minute fragments of memories drifting in an endless ocean. Memories of what will be in the near future. Right, so I sort of got the impression when opening this... That it is probably epilogue sort of things. Could they be shadows tangled, uh, of the tangled threads woven by Elysium? Or perhaps fated illusions that slip through the cracks of time and space? At the very least, they're implying that uh, they could retcon these. <laughs> there are no, 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 the answer. There's also been two games after this, so there's a chance people know the answers at this point. Okay. Just go down them one at a time. <clears throat> January, year 1208 of the Septian calendar. Uh, between... Uh, so, I, okay, so I could try to talk it out between two great mountains. Typically, Calford Basin sits long lie. Time is known for two things, being the east, uh, eastern entrance to the Republic and its exceptional hot springs, though the enticing factors do... Can, uh, does it continue to welcome tourists hailing from both home and abroad? Yet today it served guests... Quite unlike many unseasoned visitors, used to come from another renowned hot springs paradise situation in the northern reaches of Araponia. Oh, okay, so they gotcha. You know what? No, I, I, I'm already f starting to feel the irritation in the back of my throat, so I'm gonna. It's really nice that it has the little uh, arrow at the bottom, so I know how when it's uh, gonna switch over.
It's interesting. I'm trying to remember the last time we saw all four of them in the same room together. I think it's been a while. So here, here's my thought process on how I'll do these. Uh, if it changes the background, that's a good time for me to stop and just talk about stuff. But yeah, I, I think I think it's an interesting thought. Like, that's really the thing that comes to mind. When is the last time we saw all four of them together in any capacity? Like, have we ever, technically? part Like, the beginning of Cold Steel 2, maybe. I'm trying to remember. Like, cause, like when uh, Elise got like, kidnapped with Alfin and that sort of stuff. Before all that played out. Both of the parents would have been there, and Lisa and Reen would have been back in uh, Immer, so maybe. Continuing on. So that's interesting. <clears throat> uh, the idea that he like disappeared and he's not like no one's seen him or like there, the fact that there are rumors about him, uh, but like no one's able to actually get a hold of him, considering all the connections that he's had with people, it does ring a little like the stories we've heard about people joining Ouroboros, doesn't it? It does feel a bit like that, doesn't it?
That is... Int- okay, so this is, uh... This is post... You know, I think I talked before about seeing their graduation. And we didn't get to see their graduation. I, I find the comment of Reen, like, being more emotional about their graduation than his. I think, like... Am I remembering it wrong? But didn't Rain like he didn't graduate with anyone else as part of, uh, a part of class seven? He was like the only one left, and he went and continued on because everyone else dropped out technically in order to go pursue the thing that they had already discovered as their like passion or calling or whatever else, right? Which you know sort of emphasizes how much a finishing your education is not that important important in the world at the moment very interesting and I, i'm very interested um also i want to see his next class basically <laughs> year after year after year i, I want to see some of the future ones too even if they're generic scrubs i i, I want to man how, how do you live up to these design characters uh We keep following this trail a little farther. Ooh, yeah, okay, I can go back and look. So though something was being measured, it looked like it had been left by a martial. It didn't look like it was martial artists, scholars, and whatnot. Ooh. <clears throat> if this is an epilogue, I can't imagine this isn't intentionally foreshadowing something. Why would you be measuring distance? So very specifically, but the peculiar thing is that there were multiple sites like the first, all evenly spaced from one to the next. Why does my mind make me feel... My mind goes to the idea of like maybe someone's making a giant alchemy circle. Uh, that's... Not actually what I expect to be happening, but that's like where my mind goes with this.
Mm, okay, those people look... In this sort of a uh, jungle environment, that does look hot in terms of an outfit to be wearing. <laughs> Okay. I was wondering, like, the blade as it was described. I was imagining something like Rickshaw's blade, like, giant cleaver, sort of just spinning in the air. But that is an intimidating looking weapon. Basically, just a sword shuriken, right? Ooh. Also, what was it? Uh. Dark God One, one Blade? Black God One Blade. That is an intimidating name, and it also makes me feel as though what they're hinting at is that there's going to be some semblance of a rivalry between two blade schools of similar conceptual bases, probably at a moral and fundamental way different in an innate way, given the multiple blades versus one blade element of it.
Okay. Kuragane. I don't feel like that's a necessarily unique name. I feel like I've heard that sort of name a lot in the... Well, maybe not a lot, but it's it's not anywhere near unfamiliar to me as a just name that can be given to things. Um, so it could be a character who is fairly generic, but the fact that they're giving him a name in any capacity does seem to imply that there's some semblance of importance this character is going to have in the future. Uh, if there does end up being some sort of like rivalry between the Eight Leaves and whatever they got going on here with this ninja group, he might end up being like the uh, front man of this ninja group for it. I'm going to, not because he's stacking Rena at the moment, but because of his sort of genericness and hidden face, say, I think he's probably going to be just a reoccurring antagonist. Uh, example might be like Garcia from Crossbell as an example of where I think he might end up being, story-wise.
So, before jumping into this part, princess. That, that's the thing that stands out to me. Princess, princess, princess. They're definitely hinting at someone who's going to be important. Hmm. Obviously, I don't know what. I, I would assume they mean princess in the sense like the sort of like... I'm imagining more in the way like how a mob will have like the Don's daughter and call her princess, that sort of thing, rather than an official princess. So... All the more reason to think that this guy is sort of just a name sort of mob character. Like, relatively unimportant antagonist, sort of henchman. Uh, supervisor. Yeah, supervisor. Supervisor ranked bad guy. Yeah, 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 that's it. Princess, eh? She's got a sword too. Um, what what form of eight leaves is Reen the master of? Was it seven or? Because I have a vague memory of there being like a zero form. He's the master of the thing and all that sort of. <sighs> it's been a while since I thought about which it was. I need to control F form. Set no, no sign of seventh. Nope, no zero. What is he the master? Stupid wiki. Give me the answer more easily. Damn it. I don't want to read this whole thing. <laughs> A lot of mentions of ogre form. No. No, I can't remember. Which form was he the master of? It was like, it was at the tail end or the start of it. I forget. That's the reason that it's like the uh, zero form being mentioned. Ah, whatever. I, I imagine if it's actually important, they'll point it out. But uh, that's an interesting design. Wow, okay, that's a lot to take from just looking at someone, which means I think it's more just, uh, giving us exposition about her.
<sighs> okay, so they're confirming that it's eight leaves, and he hasn't heard of it before, so maybe the zero thing isn't what I was thinking of. Oh, what are the eight leaves? Something. Seventh form void. Okay, that's greens. It is seventh. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. What was it? It was zero form what? What did she say? Zero form duality. Hmm. Interesting. And yeah, I also was thinking that, like, the reason why it might be Xeroth is the Black God One Blade School. Uh, it might just be an offshoot by concepts, especially if she's an Eight Leaves One, uh, Eight Leaves One Blade concept. I guess they're both One Blade. So I'm just realizing, looking it up, it's Eight Leaves One Blade, Black God One Blade. It might just be an offshoot that specifically focuses on something. Hmm. Another Hot Springs Paradise, the end. Okay. I mean... There are definitely elements of what was just told to us, basically, that makes me feel very specifically like the game is just saying, this is a... This is... This is a tease for the next uh, arc, right? Green's just like, man, I'm not going to be in the next arc. But... What happens when it isn't as popular as it needs to be and they need to bring back the best character? <laughs> they brought back Estelle and Lloyd and oh my goodness. So I assume what it feels like they're basically saying is, yeah, you're not in the next arc, but we're going to have a big get together again at some point because this is Drails and you're not going to just disappear from the world when things get, uh, you know, when things get, you know, bad, right? Very interesting, though. Um, it's a good thing that the next game comes out in, like, three months. And I have another game to buy my time by with Xenoblade uh, before that comes out. <laughs> so, I think I'll leave this particular episode here. And I'll jump into what seems to be the last one next time. So, I'll see you all then. Drive safely, everyone. <laughs>